the Sweet Baby Ink stuff continues. It's absolutely damning what they are trying to do in the industry right now. First, you have Sweet Baby Ink threatening companies and doing everything in their power to try and push their agenda-driven politics into video games. And now, because people are speaking out against it, they're calling your places of work, they're calling, or other journalists are also calling your family at home. We're gonna take a look at what Sweet Baby Inc. has also been up to. Before we get fully into the article here and to the story here, because YouTubers are involved here, subscribe to this channel because I've been covering this for quite a while. Between Vera Dark and Alyssa Mercante fighting online and now Sweet Baby Inc. going after another social media person just because they feel like it. Sweet Baby Inc. employee Chris Kindred allegedly contacts Smash JT's former employer to get him fired. And out of all of this, Chris leaves his actual phone number and his real name in the story. So now there's a little bit more behind this. People know who he is behind the scenes. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, in journalists... Uh, going out of their way, Sweet Baby Inc. going out of their way to contact people over things that are really kind of out of bounds. Kindred is one of two Sweet Baby Inc. employees that attempted to cancel Brazilian gamer Kerbrutus. Uh, he's the person that made the Steam Curator Group, uh, now called DEI Detected. And it, at the time, it documented the Sweet Baby Inc. games, who, who they worked for. Kindred wrote an, on X on February, end of February, the Steam Curator Harassment Group Sweet Baby Inc. Detected it is led by the person Kerbrutus Rambo. Here's them trying to be slick so not to get reported. Even with the discriminatory language fil filtered off, the group itself still fails the code of conduct. Kindred added, anyway, report the F out of this group. Finally, Kindred called for the cancelling of Kerbudos Rambo's Steam account where he has hundreds and thousands of games or thousands of hours in games. Very much the same like all the rest of us here on YouTube that actually sit here and are gamers and play video games. YouTuber Smash JT details that Kindred contacted his former employee in an attempt to get him fired. He reached out to the company where I had worked for and said that I'm harassing and have started a website collecting non-white audience I don't know, Chris. I, I think this is easily disprovable. If you go to my website and see there's nothing illegal here, even though you tried to get my website taken down or did for like 36 hours, there's nothing that is not public information. This is all readily apparent. Smash JT, we've spoken about Kotaku Detected. He's put up this website where you can go and see all the list of names of people with screenshots and the articles or the tweets or everything that is deplorable in what we see in the gaming industry right now. These are the journalists and the employees of companies that are tearing down the gamers and the players that just want to play a game. We want to enjoy the games and we don't want it turned into a butterface nightmare of a video game where no one even wants to even look at the game anymore. We want to see fantastical things. I want to see a true Metroidvania out there for where Samus is the star of the show again. She used, she's probably one of the most iconic characters when it comes to video games, even though Tomb Raider Laura Croft was voted higher, but Laura Croft has since been victim of the DEI situation as well. So where do we go from here? He later detailed that he contacted a place of work of mine uh, that I was at for like three years ago okay and these people they're very busy they have professional jobs they're hard working do some research before starting stuff like this but you leave these messages and you think i'm going to get back to me 
I don't know. Maybe you thought it would be anonymous even though you left your name and your phone number, which is the same number you list on the website, which is how I know it's you. I don't know what you were thinking and why you thought this was a good idea, but this is going to come back full force on you. You are the bad guy in the situation. You don't do stuff like this. I don't know how else to tell you, you this. Are we the baddies? Now, seriously, this is where it's gone down to. Sweet Baby Inc., Kotaku journalists, Jason Schreier, all running defense for this type of thing in the games industry. It's absolutely sickening. And you can see from the previous video I did about Black Myth Wukong with IGN and their article, how they're drawing, trying to bring everything to the forefront and use every tactic in the book to get a different market to bend to their will, to bend to this whole westernization of modern audiences in video games it's absolutely sickening when you sit there and you put someone else up on a pillar i you know i i've been talking about this until i'm blue in the face where this type of thing where you remove someone and put someone higher who wins nobody wins in that game nobody wins in the game of life with this type of thing I've come from very, very dark places in my life. And what I've done here is build up from that. And that's part of the reason why we use the Phoenix around this channel. It, it, it's a whole symbol of lifting ourselves up and doing better for ourselves. But when you sit there and you talk time and again, and you see these journalists calling us, every single gamer, a bigot, a misogynistic, a racist, everything under the sun to say if you don't like the game then you don't you don't need to spend the money on it but if you don't spend the money on it then the game fails and you are the problem you're the reason why things are not doing well no it's not it's because they're selling their souls for the lowest bidder or the highest bidder in this case before the game makes it to market Seven million dollars is what they tried, what Sweet Baby Inc. tried to get out of game science. And now on top of that, Sweet Baby Inc. is going after people's livelihoods. They're going after people's Steam accounts, trying to get their games taken away, all because they list them online. These lists that are going online right now really show the deplorable people that are in the industry that are tearing everyone down and it's like everyone's been saying that is around stuff like this standing up to these cry bullies that are out there right now enough is enough we're here to stay and the industry will be saved smash jt but well, let's keep this going sweet baby inc is not the number one thing that we need to worry about anymore it's the fact that games have gone down the rabbit hole and they need to be pulled back up and i hope i hope this will be a changing moment in the games industry to something more and something great is coming down the line anyway thanks for watching i'm your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day and i will see you again very soon